This week on We Have a Show, we play America's favorite game show, Are You Smarter Than a Groundhog? But first, this! One, two, three, four. We have a show. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to We Have a Show. Woo. It's not just you or me, it's us. And that, my friends, is Calculus. My name is Zach Morrison, and let's be real, does the groundhog ever not see a shadow? <laughs> With me, as always, is my co-host and roommate, Christopher Pacey. Zach, groundhogs don't have conscious thought. Joining us this week in the We Have a Show green room, he's a comedian from right here in New York City, Johnny Cavanaugh, everybody. There he is, Johnny! Hey, Johnny! <laughs> Johnny's going to be playing a game with us later that we had just invented. But Chris, happy Groundhog's Day. Happy Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day? Yes, it is singular. That's those Groundhog's Day. It's like it's hog. the Groundhog's Day. He, no, he doesn't <laughs> hogs the ground. He he is the hog in the ground. But he but it's his. It's not his day. It's a day about it's the Groundhog no, it's day. The hog day. The hog. Not Hog's Day. No, no, not Hog. But it's not multiple it's of not, them. The, it's the just singular, the singular hog. hog. The day of the hog. The yes. Ho he, the we hog are celebrating day. the hog. You seem to know a lot about groundhogs. Yeah, I mean, growing up, uh, we had we had a pool in the backyard, and I was I was vacuuming one day, and all of a sudden, I hear the splash. Yeah. I look in, and, and there's this little rodent, and he's he's swimming, and I'm like, oh god. So instead of saving him, I run and grab my dad because I was afraid of the thing. <laughs> he runs up, <laughs> takes the skimmer, scoops the thing out, and throws it in the woods. <laughs> He just chucks it, chucks like, it. like a lacrosse stick. Yeah, like a Are you sure he didn't actually kill him? Well, the thing is, is like, you know, a year later, we ended up having this whole groundhog family move in. So, and they so just started eating everything. Just start, <laughs> yeah, just a whole family of, ground, of ground, uh, groundhogs. Yeah, right. so I, th I think we saved that groundhog's yeah, life. You know what, I think your dad really just like gave that groundhog that, you know, near-death experience. <laughs> and right then he was like, wow, like, I gotta make wow. a change. I'm I'm just this single, lonely groundhog. Like, there, there's nothing in there's this There's so world. much like, to I, live for. There's so much. On this earth. Like, I need to find a lady groundhog. I need to start a groundhog family. Like, we need to keep destroying the Pacey's garden. Exactly. As a family. As a family. <laughs> there's so much more to do in life now. <laughs> and after, you know, watching them for so many years, I kind of consider myself like a groundhog expert. Really? Yeah, yeah. You know, I think I'm going to put you and Johnny to the test. I, uh, I think that's an incredible idea <laughs> in a segment that we like to call, Are You Smarter Than a Groundhog? Are you smarter than a groundhog? Are you smarter than a To Are You Smarter Than a Groundhog? <laughs> I'm your host, Christopher Basie. Now, welcome to our friend and comedian from New York, Johnny Kavanaugh. Hey, thank you guys for having me. How, How you doing, so Johnny? Doing pretty good. You're pretty doing good. pretty good. I'm enjoying the plaid here. It looks good. Uh, it's a mandatory aesthetic for chubby bearded people. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm rocking. And our other contestant on the game show is... Zach Morrison, the host of a failing web show, We Have a Show. Uh, Zach, how are you doing today? I'm, I'm doing pretty well, Chris. I hope all five viewers are, uh, are having a good time today. The rules are simple. We have three categories. The day, the hog, the movie. You guys can pick from those three categories. We have okay. questions written for each one. And then we'll finish the game up with a, a round of final hoggerty. Final jeopardy? Hoggerty. Hoggerty. I'm hoggerty. talking, the hog. Non-trademark. John, non John hoggerty in the breather round bit. Yes, exactly that. If a player gets a question right, they receive a ground hog. And if a player gets a question wrong, well, they receive a shadow. And if you get enough shadows, you might meet my dad. So, All right, Johnny, um, what, are you, what are you thinking? Let's go whole hog. Give me a hog question. Ah, hog. hog question. All right, here so we go. So the hog, this is about the groundhog itself. This is about itself. the physical or, hog. Like groundhogs themselves. Uh, like ground the species, groundhogs. Species. Oh, okay. Okay. Not just DJ P. Tux. That's <laughs> what I call Tux and Tiny Phil. Even though I love his work. <laughs> okay. True or false? Groundhogs are the largest members of the squirrel family. Nick will be keeping track of the score back there, making sure we have the proper amount of hogs to shadow. <sighs> it's a ratio you gotta keep. Yeah, it's, it's important. All right, on the count of three, our players will reveal their answers. One, two, three. That is a, whoa. whoa. Uh -oh. Oh. I don't think there's a squirrel family. <laughs> That's just a weird <laughs> phrasing. It is, it is a trick question. It's a trick well, why question. is it a trick question? The answer was true. Yes. 
<laughs> I feel like I felt like it should have been rodent family. Yeah, yeah. So Ooh. I said no. Squirrel family felt like a misdirection. Genius hey. said a squirrel. It's in that family of squirrelium. Squirrelium. Not a copious. Squirrelium. Yeah. Ooh. Me. Mr. Johnny. What, uh, what category? Let's go for the movie. He's going for the movie. The movie. Not gonna lie, I read some Groundhog's Day trivia last night. Good, <laughs> good. He prepared as you should, and this this I, is a cruel I, world. I didn't. I did not prepare at all. You're still probably gonna be. <laughs> this is a cruel this world. Cruel world. Where you should know your Groundhog's Day trivia. What is the name of the song that wakes up Phil Connors each morning during his time loop? You know, I, I hear this song and I, I get good, I get good vibes. You know. <laughs> all right, and the failures will reveal their answers in three, two, one. <laughs> and the correct no, answer was Zach is a dude. <laughs> oh, great, great. Um, I got you, babe. I got, I, I got you, babe. Where is the largest annual Groundhog Day celebration held? Bonus point if you could spell it correctly. I, I'm not spelling it correctly. All right, and yeah. the players will reveal their answers in three, two, one. Uh, Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Yes, that is that is the answer. <laughs> Mine wasn't important. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, a, I did not spell it correctly. Can we see your spelling? Just to, just to laugh about it? You put a Q in there? <laughs> <laughs> Is he a Native American? Pasha to Kawadi. Pocahontas' frumpy cousin. <laughs> Bugs and Tiny, but the, the Q is silent. I thought it'd be silent. <laughs> in what of anything is there a silent Q? You have an X and a Q in there. <laughs> you know, you may not even get that one just of how poorly So I put the that. United States of America, so who's kind of right? All right, all right. He's, it's in the, the general country that where it started. The score right now is three shadows to three hogs. You know, or, so, or, or just three to zero. Oh, no, Zach. No, no. Oh, sorry. Do you sorry. understand? This is my game show. I, I, this is my game show. It's, I, Chris? I, I have a lot of respect for you, and I don't think that should stand. I, I think uh, there should be a uh, hog and a shadow switch for uh, that. Disappearance. We're gonna give him a hog. Give yep. him a hog. Give him a, give him a hog. Yeah. Okay. He's disrespecting my game show. Should we give him, give him Zach a shadow too? Yeah, give him a shadow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is our final day question. Well, so we're almost out of days. <laughs> We're all out of days Thank to God. live. <laughs> Good. In the bottom of my depression, I thought the same thing. <laughs> what is the year of the first official Groundhog Day? Is it A, 1840, B, 1887, C, 1902, or D, 1911? Now, keep in mind, this is first official. First Groundhog official. First official. Was it unofficial before? The players reveal their answers in three, two, one. Read it. D. Oh. Ooh, 1887. Wow! Zach okay. Morrison again! I totally <laughs> You got it right! Yeah. I totally get it. <laughs> that, was, I, that was A, right? That was B. It was B. B. I wanted to go for the 1800s, but when I, you were like official, I'm like, you know yeah, what? That feels like, like that, something that people threw, had done. Me off. And like a weird early, early 1900s. We, we found a thing. newspaper article with the first official. The first, oh, so you guys actually did really? research. We did our research. Yeah, yeah, we wow. found a newspaper okay. article so with the first, first official. Time, I'm not even mad about that. I learned yeah. something. Yeah, I learned something. The first about time it. a newspaper talks about it is 1886, and the following year was it the was, first it was official. official. Wow. On, fe on Although, February 2nd. On Although February 2nd. the earliest that they found evidence of Groundhog's Day is 1840, some guy's diary talks about it. So. <laughs> really? So, so this, tradition, wow. this tradition is old, guys. You learn, old you, you learn something every day. And that's what we do here on We Have a Show. You know, yeah, I'm not mad about that one. All right, we're going to go for a picture question. Oh, it's a picture question. Oh, picture question. oh okay. Nick, the picture's Oh, please. you go to hell. <laughs> Pick the groundhog. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which one is the groundhog? You must write on your Wait, card and, and, and the what's number. The, what's the other one? Uh, you don't have to know yeah, that. You, you don't have to know that. Oh, so only one of these two one is, of these is, the two is a groundhog. Don't you ever put something in front of my players, face on camera again. Players, reveal their answers in three, two, one. It's one. Number it's one. one. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. one. Chris, look behind you. Uh, <laughs> I blew it. I blew it. <laughs> again, I took a minute. The score of the game is Nick. Well, right now we got... Five hogs to four hogs. Whoa. And one shadow to four shadows. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know what the shadows are. The shadows do. are just, you know, what we're going to do to you later. Which of the following is not a nickname for the groundhog? Can you name those again for me? Is it A, whistle pig, B, woodchuck, C, country squirrel, or D, bear rat? Players will reveal their answers in three, two, what? I thought A whistle pig. Ooh. I guess B woodchuck. Oh. Uh -oh. We got two shadows. We got two shadows. <laughs> oh. What, what's the answer? The answer was country squirrel. Country squirrel. We made I, that up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, made see, it up. there that was actual deception. Yeah. That, that, sounds, that sounds like something that people in Pennsylvania would call it. Like, yes. That was the point. Yeah. He's the largest thing in the squirrel family. Am I a racist? Too. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Depends who in Pennsylvania you think. Yeah. yeah. So the, the whistle pig comes from the fact that groundhogs actually make a whistling sound in the field. They they make a high pitched whistle sound. I, they don't look like pigs though. No, I know, but that's just what they they're also called, called groundhogs. Yes. Right. Hogs. Uh, whistle pig. Uh, Boom. Uh, knowledge. Yes. He gets an extra shadow for that. No, no. <laughs> I think he does. I'm sweating so much. He is. Final Haggerty is the final question. <laughs> Here's the way final, final uh, Haggerty works. Uh, the player will wager their shadows. Will then have those shadows then to be converted into groundhogs. Pretty simple. And Zach has four shadows and Johnny has four shadows. So, yeah. yes. this is for the big one. Final Hogarty question is, can you accurately explain the superstition of Groundhog Day? I will be playing our Hogarty theme song as they are writing their answers. And go. <laughs> How are we All doing? Right, time's <laughs> <up>. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I'll keep going. <laughs> Lovely break. <laughs> <laughs> Where did we go? <laughs> oh my I'm lord! So hot right now. <laughs> this jacket is, is not well ventilated. Zach, since you are leading, would you like to go first? If the groundhog sees its shadow, it's six more weeks of winter. That. Okay. Wait. Well, wait. Well, let's hear the other answer. Let's hear the other answer. Once a year, <laughs> the noble groundhog Puxatani fell emerges from his underground home, having just railed his groundhog wife. <laughs> he comes up to, uh, to bestow himself upon all of us. And if uh, the noble Puxatani sees his shadow, he knows it is not yet time. And he retreats back into the warmth of his hole. Um, and there are six more weeks of winter because it is too cold for the groundhog to come back out and a groundhog can't survive in winter. Um, but if not, uh, winter is ending and the harvest season begins. Well, well, well done. Well that. done. He also explained the other half of the Groundhog Day tradition. The doing his wife part? <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Johnny's the winner. Johnny, Johnny is the Johnny winner. Wins the game. Johnny. There you go. That's it? That's it. All right. Yeah, that's the game show. Johnny Cavanaugh, everybody. Johnny Cavanaugh. the winner. We got six more weeks of winter, and we also got a show. Well, that's it, guys. It's all we have for you today on We Have a Show. Thank you so much to Johnny Cavanaugh for Thank being here, everybody. Thank you guys so much. It was a blast. I'm so happy to have you on. Uh, tell us, what do you have uh, coming up? Uh, coming up uh, weekend, specifically Saturdays, at Montclair State University. It's a little bit out of the way for some people, but uh, I'm in an improv troupe, The Dirty Nine. We have shows every weekend. Um, and I'll also give you guys that information for their official account. It's funny, you want to eat groundhogs. Yeah, 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 one less. Yeah, one less. That's actually we are usually advertise everyone on our playbills. Yeah. But to be like featuring eight groundhog Johnny winner Hager. Johnny Cavanaugh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna show you. Yeah. 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 at that one thing at that one place. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and also like if you check me out on social media, whenever I'm doing some kind of stand up comedy or cool. something in the city, I put out a blast. Awesome. So. We will link to Johnny's social handles down in the comment section below. But please be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and keep the conversation <laughs> going in the comment section below. Do, Do it. it! If you want to get involved with We Have a Show all month long, our theme is by winter. So filmmakers get filming, writers get writing, musicians get music, artists get arting, and folk togs get folk togging. And let's make a show together. My name is Zach Morrison. That's Chris Rapacey. Johnny Cavanaugh, everybody. The Bush Brothers on camera. Hey. Keep on doing it live, and we will see you all next week. How much longer? Do you see a shadow yet? No, and stay out there!